welcome to all and in this today's video session uh, for artificial intelligence subject under uh, unit 4 that is a natural language communication we are going to cover the introduction part and the generative capacity under the generative capacity we are going to uh, discuss the types of grammar that is unrestricted grammar context sensitive grammar context free grammar and regular grammar right so uh, what is a natural language processing natural language processing is a subfield of artificial intelligence that focus on the interaction between the computers and the human language so as a definition uh, as a part it is uh, explained the it is the interaction between the computers and the human language of course the artificial intelligence basically uh, deals with the agents so we can consider instead of a computer we can consider agent agent is anything that is a software it may be a robot or it may be any system uh, we can consider for making the interaction with the human so uh, in the nlp system so actually what we are going to study means where what uh, it uh, deals with means the study of grammars how we are going to construct a sentence that is uh, generating a sentence and once the generated sen sentence is as per the syntax or not that part we are going to uh, study under NLP systems. Suppose in the universe we have uh, a very big list of communication language natural languages among the uh, people. So each language has its own structure for generating the sentences. The, the generation of sentences will follow certain particular rules. These rules, the formation rules are known as grammar. These formation rules are known as grammar. Suppose for example, if you take in English language, any uh, English language, suppose I eat fruit. So where the structure formation will be subject, verb, object. The similarly the same thing if we consider in, in other languages suppose we can consider uh, English as a Telugu uh, the formation will be Nenu Pandu Tinnanu. So the uh, order will be Nenu subject and the Pandu that is the object Tinnanu is the verb. So uh, in this uh, Telugu the formation will be subject object verb. But in the uh, English, it is subject, verb, object. Some other languages, the formation will be in a different fashion. Maybe subject, verb, uh, subject, uh, object, subject, verb, like that combinations, maybe. So, so this all de decided by the, the formation rules. That is nothing but a grammar. Right? So, in the NLP system, the formation of sentences will depend on the some production rules. Like in the natural languages, we have a big, a big, form, a big rules, a list of rules for forming the sentences for natural processing system to provide the communication. It will follow a production rule. There is the this can be uh, represented in two forms. So the same syntax we can represent in the two forms. One is LHS produces RHS, or we can say in the other fashion, other form that the alpha produces the beta. What is the alpha and beta? That is the ingredients of the languages so that is uh, the ingredients may be the uh, maybe words terminal word that we can consider in terms of uh, the natural language processing system that may be terminal non-terminals like the symbols that we are going to discuss anyway shortly now uh, grammatical formalism can be classified by <coughs> the generative capacity according to the norm chomsky there are four types of grammars he classified according to Noam Chomsky there are uh, the, he classified the uh, language grammars into four types one is type 0 grammar type 1 grammar type 2 grammar type 3 grammar what is a type uh, 0 yeah what is a grammar basically a grammar consists of uh, four tuples in a uh, processing systems in a computer application uh, natural language processing system any language if you can have four tuples so one is a uh, uh, v T P S. One is V, that is a finite set of non-terminal symbols or variables. 
that is a non terminal symbols or variables and the t is set of terminal symbols or the alphabets of the language being described and uh, p is the production rule and s is the start variable or non terminal symbol these are the so if you consider any language according to nlp the language grammar consists of ingredients maybe terminal symbols non terminal symbols and production rules and a starting symbol these are the uh, the ingredients of any grammar so what is a type 0 grammar so generally type 0 grammar is named as unrestricted grammar there is no there is no restriction uh, as the production rules i have uh, uh, explained that is lhs produces rhs or alpha produces the beta there is no restriction in the uh, lhs side and the uh, rhs side any combination of uh, the the ingredients that we can put in the left hand side or any combination of the uh, the ingredients that put in on the uh, right hand side of the uh, language so the ingredients may be terminals and non terminal symbols so in the formation of uh, the this one lhs produces rhs lhs may be any combination of terminals and non terminals there is no restriction and uh, right hand side there is no restrictions there is a combination of uh, the terminals and non terminals uh, the the language which is formed based on this uh, unrestricted rules is known as recursively uh, recursively recursively emersible enumerable language recursively enumerable language and these languages will be accepted by the turing machines so what is automata so actually we have a given set of uh, rules that is a uh, uh, unrestricted rules so these rules how we can able to uh, implement mathematical uh, uh, implement in the language that is formed as a mathematical model that is nothing but automata the uh, system which is the following the uh, for simulating this particular grammar which is nothing but the automata is nothing but turing machine so uh, in the uh, unrestricted rules the uh, rule may be in the production rule be is alpha produces the beta where alpha is a string of terminals and non terminals with at least one non terminal and alpha cannot be null and beta is any combination of terminals and non terminals with that we can put so for example generally uh, these things uh, the capital letters we are going to put as a non terminals and the small letters we are going to put as a terminals for the timing we are not because we are not going for any particular language because of this where for the uh, uh, theory of competition what is the, the models we followed the same thing we will follow here also there is a capital letters we are going to put uh, for the non terminals and the small letters we are going to put for the terminals so s is a capital letter that is on the left hand side and the right hand side any combination of terminals and non terminals that capital a c is the non terminals small a and capital b is the uh, non terminal and terminal so any combination that can put so next bc the next uh, second example bc in the bc terminal non terminal is the left hand side right hand side uh, terminals and uh, non terminal capital b non term a c b a c is non terminal uh, terminal capital b is non terminal like uh, in the third case c b c b uh, both are non terminals and the right hand side both are non terminals and in the uh, right hand the last one small a capital d that is a one non terminal and ter uh, one terminal and non terminal there uh, the produces one terminal and non terminal so like that so there is no restriction uh, and all the, in this particular system particular type of grammar and the la the language depends on the this particular the formation of sentences is known as uh, recursively enumerable languages and uh, the second type of grammar is called context sensitive grammar in the context sensitive grammar uh, the production rules will be slightly different than the previous one so in this one the it basically concentrate on the length of the string there is a length of the string on the left hand side and the length of the string on the right hand side so the as a production rule the length of the string on the right hand uh, left hand side should be less than or equal to length of the string in the right hand side that is the uh, basic intention here basic uh, restriction here 
so uh, the the right hand side left hand side uh, you can put any uh, non terminals so terminals and non terminals combination right hand right, uh, right hand side also we can put any terminals non terminals combination here in this particular representation uh, a is a non terminal symbol and alpha beta gamma are the combinations of terminals and non terminal symbols the strings alpha and beta may be empty but gamma should not be empty and uh, uh, in the grammar it is represented uh, the things uh, uh, with the example that is s is a non terminal which can produce a and uh, s a b uh, s b c is non terminals and the second one s yes, that is uh, non terminal small a is terminal capital b c is terminals non terminals and capital c b is a non terminal capital b c is non terminals here you can see the length of the strings in the left hand side should be less than or equal to the right hand side string that is uh, in the left hand side we have only one right hand side we have four in the every case it is more or less equal so it is uh, either less than or equal to right hand side string length or it is equal to the right hand side symbol the length of the left hand side uh, string should be equal to length of the right hand string uh, right hand side string that is the the basic concept of this one and the third category of uh, this one is a type 2 grammar which is known as context free grammar the uh, based on this uh, uh, if the language is formed means that particular language is called context free language and uh, the production must uh, be in the uh, form of alpha produces the beta where alpha is non terminals and the beta is a combination of terminals and non terminals here the restriction is so the uh, left hand side it will be non terminals and the right hand side it may be terminals and non terminals but the thing is the non terminals should be extreme ends if it is a, uh, the string uh, beta side if it is a non terminal string is there uh, if it is available then it should be extreme ends that is extreme starting of the symbol starting of the string or ending of the string that we can put in the middle of that it it is not uh, the part of context free grammar that is a one of the important so based on this uh, uh, for the sentence formation and all we will found to follow one mathematical model that is known as push down automata and uh, the the last category that is a type 3 grammar which is known as regular grammar so uh, regular based on the regular grammar if the language for uh, the sentences are formed in a particular language that language is known as regular languages and uh, this also the basic rule is alpha produces the beta alpha is in non terminal on the left hand side beta is a right hand side consists of single non terminal or single terminal followed by a non terminal single so uh, the beta side may be a terminal single terminal or a single ter non a single terminal is followed by non terminal that is the combination here so that is x is a capital letter that is non terminal and the right hand side it may be small a or if it is a also small a is a terminal and if it is a non terminal y also available it is a combination of terminals and non terminals so terminal symbol uh, the followed by non terminal symbol right like that there is a a or a y like that these are the four tuples uh, that we had and all these things are given in the table of form that is a type 0 grammar which is unrestricted grammar so the language accepted is known as recursively enumerable language and the mathematical model for providing this uh, for simulating this uh, grammar which is a turing machine and type one grammar is context sensitive grammar and it is a context sensitive language the language formed for this one is uh, based on this one is context sensitive language and uh, the mathematical model for uh, simulating the uh, the grammar is linear bounded automation 
and uh, the type 2 grammar is context free grammar and the language accepted uh, this grammar is lang uh, the context free language and the mathematical model for uh, the simulating the uh, grammar is pushed down automation and the last one type 3 grammar which is regular grammar and the language formed on this particular uh, grammar is uh, regular language and uh, the mathematical model uh, which simulate this uh, regular language or grammar which is nothing but final state automation these are the uh, uh, the things that we covered uh, in the today's session and if you uh, like this video please share and subscribe and don't forget to give me a like on this video and please subscribe to my channel for further videos Thank you.